a previous video run into a, a bit of a problem and that uh, in the effort to try to get rid of these zeros or if you like to get rid of the zeros in front of this base 5 number which looks like 401 because it's not customary to write zeros above the last non-zero digit. So I wanted to figure out how we would how we could do that. And I had come up with a pretty complicated program here using logic to redo these calculations. So when the calculations gave me double zeros up and down, I ended up not putting anything inside the cell. And I did that using this relatively complicated uh, logical uh, state, uh, set of statements using ifs, ands, uh, integer calculations, modulo, arithmetic calculations, and so on. Okay, now I figured out what the problem is and that I have those formulas here. These are the same formulas I'm putting up in here. And when I drag this thing out like this, I get all blanks, exactly what I want. But when I put the formulas up here and I drag it out, I get, wow, these all of these sort of errors coming up. And the question is, why was that happening? And it was happening because uh, I looked to see if uh, the formulas calculated here and here um, give me zero. And if they give me zero, then I don't put anything in there. However, the values in these two places are used to compute the values in these two places. If I have zeros there, then I can compute these values. But I have nothing there, then I can't compute the values and I get an error. So what happens is when I extend it out once, I get nothing, nothing, which is fine. That's what I want. Um, but then uh, the values I compute here use these two values, seeing if they're zero, but there's nothing there so that when I try to do the calculation, it just totally messes up on me. So here's what I want to do. This is perhaps a bit of a cop out, uh, but you know, I, uh, um, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll do a cop out um, uh, when it works and saves me a lot of extra work. So let me show you what I'm planning on doing. Okay, first thing I want to do right here is to, let's say, extend this out a little bit. So there's the end right here, right in here. Okay, what I want to do is um, from here on down, I want to, I want to drop, uh, I want to drop my uh, Excel sheet. I want to put in a few extra rows in there. So let me do that right here. From here, here, to here, there. Now I do cut, and then I will do, let's say just one extra row right here. I'll do paste right there. Okay, so that moves everything down just like I want. Now what I want to do since is I just want to look at um, this uh, this set right in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat this thing down. Uh, copy, paste, division by zero. I guess that doesn't work, does it? Delete, okay. Repeat. I want to drop that. What I want to do right here is I want to um, take this and drag it over. So I want to take this, put it there, drag it over, then I'll figure out what I want to do about these two things uh, right after that. So I look at this, this has this long complicated statement. So I'm going to copy this right here, just like that. Copy. Notice I don't copy the equal sign. Then I want to put that right here in O because that's where the calculation begins. So right here in O, I want to paste that long thing. Now I want to put the equal sign back in, hit return, and it should give me a 4. 
Now if I take this and drag it across, I should be okay. All zeros. Now here, um, let's try this and let's just take this pointer and drag it over. Uh, you know, interesting, it doesn't seem to be letting me drag left. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Um, I could right here notice that it's accessing this is accessing these two numbers. But what I want to do is when I put it here, I want to access these two numbers right in there. Okay, so let me just do uh, copy Well, let me just look, let me look at these for a minute here. Okay, now this calculation I just want to repeat right here. So rather than drag the cell down, let me copy the formula, copy, let me put it here, paste, let me put the equal sign in now. Notice that if you don't want the values to change, you don't copy the equal sign. Okay, now right in here, this uses these two previous things, but I want to use the formula that I put in here. I want to have that formula in here so it uses these two uh, numbers, okay? Now, um, so, notice that what I have right here right now is this. This goes modular M602. M6 is this number right here. M6. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, let me um, mod M602. So here, everything is N. So what I want to do is copy this over, and I want to use M6 rather than N6. Still, why won't it? Here, it just uh, doesn't like copying left, I guess. Okay, so let me copy the formula. Maybe if I copy the whole formula and paste it there, it might work. Copy. Paste. Yep, that worked. No, nope, did it? Let me do edit, undo. It should be a zero, not a four. Let's see what happens when I paste it there. It still says N6 instead of M6. So let me replace the N. M, M, and M. There. Now let me copy that. Copy. Let me put it here. Oh, whatever it's doing there, edit, undo. Right here is where I want to put it. Paste. Now I'll put equal. There. Okay, and um, maybe I just want to put that back to what it was. Mod M602. Let me let me not put that whole complicated formula there. Let me just do equal mod M602. Copy. Paste.
equal there. Now let me drag this over. And they're all blanks. And now, instead of this, has all these T's in here, I want to copy, let's say U, let me change this concatenate statement. So I want to do, see how far down is this, one, two, three, four, six, seven, so U7 is where I want to start. So I'm going to concatenate U7. Comma. T7. Comma. 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 Comma, comma, comma. No more comma. Return. Okay. Oh, I put in U7, but I wanted to put this, which is U8. Okay. Let me go back up and redo all these. Concatenate. Uh, okay, concatenate. Cat eight U eight comma U seven. Yeah, close parentheses now equal. So now now my number is four hundred and one. So let me uh, move that over to the right side of the cell. Alignment and shading here. And um, here. What should I call this now? Maybe I'll merge these two cells like this format, cell, alignment. Merge cells there, merge the cells. This moves this over, and then I'll put um, I'll put number I want to put number in new base, um, concatenate. I'll put that right up here. Watch what I'm going to do here. Put something in front of this. I'm going to put quote, let's say, integer number in base. And then I'll put quote, comma, 
comma, space. I'll click on this. O2. Comma, quote, space is space, quote, comma. Let's see how that works. There, so integer number in new basis 401. It looks to me like I want to merge yet another cell here. So click on this, click on this, and let's try that again. Format cells, merge cells there. See how that works. Integer number in base 5, okay. Means that, look, I'm missing. I need to put a space in here somewhere. I'll put it right here, right after the E. Now hit return. So there, integer number in base 5 is 401. There, I got that. Now, let me merge these two cells here. Format cells, merge cells, okay. There. So this is 401, and then the decimal, fraction decimal is this, and then this is the decimal in the new, uh, in the new base 5. It's point zero two two three zero three and so on. This is right here. So um, I could uh, merge this and that. And I'll say uh, format cells, merge cell, OK. I'll put this on the right side, right up here. And I could type in here that this is um, now, this is another concatenate. And I could say fraction base 5. Let me type that in. There. I'm going to put quote fraction base end quote comma this comma Now right here, I'll put an is and a space. Let's see how that looks. Is. The is is too close there. Let me put a space in there. Fraction base 5 is. So be, before the is, I'll put a space. Space. Turn. Fraction base 5 is this. I don't know what this number is right here. Let's look. Oh, I was just doing some calculation to show you something. Let me take these two out. Edit. Clear all. That gets rid of them. So uh, here. Now we could, in fact, uh, concatenate the 401 with this if we wanted to, but I'll, I'll just pass on that. I can leave that for you to figure out how to do that if you want. Okay, so that is the um, uh, finishing of how we do a calculation with um, any uh, decimal, whether it's an integer or a fraction, to any base. Now one final thing I wanted to mention before signing off here is I wanted to show you this isn't, that whole thing I went through is not what you need to do. You don't have to do all of that to satisfy the, um, uh, uh, get the, get credit to satisfy the problem on the, the class project, one of the class project problems for the semester. And the reason for that is that, um, uh, Excel already has built into it an integer 
uh, conversion from decimal to base 2 and decimal to base 8. And I'll just show you where they are, uh, what those functions are. Here, the function is DEC2, number 2, the character for 2, bin, okay, and then you put whatever your decimal is in there, and it will give you the base 2 number. So here I take input base 10 is 13.6, I find the integer part, I put that integer part in here, and it automatically gives me the integer part for the base 2 number. I only have to do the calculation for, um, for the fraction here, okay? And I don't have to worry about those leading zeros either because it takes care of that for me too. Similarly, Excel has built into it a function for converting a decimal to an octal number. That's dec to oct. So all I do is take off the integer part, here 13. You know how to do that with the integer uh, function. And then I use that into the dec to oct and then that just gives me the number 15. Then, so I only, in each case, I only have to do the fraction to base 2 calculation, which, I, which you can do using the techniques I've just previously shown you in the last several videos. And then you can, uh, you can get your entire sheet set up so as to give you uh, arbitrary decimal base 10 to an arbitrary binary number, so well, Input base 10, find its binary representation. Input base 10, find its um, octal base 8 representation. So I hope these two videos give you enough um, uh, information you need to complete the class project.